Shout out Sham Sharania for this information. The Pistons owner Tom Gore is meeting with the coach finalists this weekend. So, let me tell you, or not this weekend, but this week. Here are the three identified finalists. Kevin Ollie, who played 11 teams in his 14-year NBA career. Then he coached UConn, taking over Rick Calhoun's team and winning a championship before me moving on to leading the coaching operations for Overtime Elite. You guys know, I think he's been like blacklisted by college basketball because he's a good college coach. I don't know why he's never been given another shot. Jerron Collins is actually Jason Collins' twin brother, I believe, or yeah, twin brother. And he played for four teams over his NBA career. He's been an assistant coach for nine seasons with the Warriors. And for the last two, he's been with Pelicans as the right-hand man to Willie Green. And then Charles Lee won a championship with the Bucks, but Lee coached at his alma mater, Bucknell. That's a good school. After his playing career ended, he's been an assistant coach under Mike Budenholzer with the Hawks and Bucks for the last nine years. There is a little part of me that thinks Charles Lee might be the fi- one of the finalists for the Bucks job. But all Lee and Collins were both longtime NBA players. Lee has been an assistant coach at the NCAA and NBA level. All has been a coach at the NCAA level and at the overtime elite. So what we're taking from here, if I don't know, I think all three of these coaches are good. I kind of really like Jerron Collins the best coming from Golden State, being a guy who played for a while. And look, with I think the big thing with Kevin Ollie, he's also, you know, been, I believe what he was the head coach of the Oklahoma City Blue. Was he actually? I did not know if Kevin, and I knew Kevin Ollie made it to Sam Presti's, like, almost became coach for Sam Presti. So, and he all, and that's the, yeah, okay, so I don't think he ever coached the Oklahoma City Blue. I don't know why that's there, but either way, I do think it's interesting as all hell when you look at this situation, because each coach is different, okay? And... They're going to be, and I know back in like 2015, he talked with OKC and almost got the job. So, so he never coached the OKC Blue. I don't know why this article said that because I, I had the article referring for Kevin Ollie, but the Pistons want someone who can take this organization from a rebuild to a playoff team. I think it's Jerron Collins or Charles Lee. I mean, Kevin Ollie's fine. I just have a hesitancy with getting guys who haven't coached in the NBA. I know he played. I still think it's a little different, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the, in the comments. What do you guys think? What would you guys want as your coach and why? It's definitely interesting to see how this is all playing out. But that is going to be the video for me today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. If there was anything else I could have you guys would have liked to have heard let me know i am gonna peace out urton style i don't know what else we have to talk about here but basically that's that's the information one of these guys will be the new pistons head coach i wonder who i mean i'm fine with whoever but it it does just it's interesting to see because again it goes back to the thought process of all right which coach do you want all right because for me i think i really like these guys options and it's it's a getting a new coach is always just such a weird process like I'm, it's you got to find someone who who meshes and i don't i wouldn't mind any of these guys yeah i've been I, and you guys know i'm a huge kevin ollie fan like i've always loved kevin ollie but i don't know if he's the right job right now